everybody, welcome to Thursday Night Kerbal for December 19, 2013. Uh, how you doing tonight? Hope everybody's doing good. Hope everybody's having a good night. Um, been slacking off the last couple weeks as far as Thursday Night Kerbal goes, but we're going to stop that in this tracks. We're going to get back to business here. So, um, anybody who's been watching me doing Kerbal knows I have a career already going in sandbox mode. I already have a sandbox mode um, game going on. But I've been messing around with a few mods. Uh, I've been fixing my mods over last week because uh, the game updated to point through two three. So I've been having to um, fix a lot of my mods, do a lot of updating. Um, and what I did in the course of doing those mods updating, hey Michael, how you doing? Welcome. Um, what I've been doing in the course of fixing all my mods is I found some other mods I want to try, and I thought. Um, you know what, there's this one mod I want to try, and it's involved in the tech tree as far as a, a career mode goes. It's called KSP Interstellar. The point of the mod is, at the far end of your tech tree, when you've advanced, you know, this is the end game of your tech tree. This is down at the end of your career. You can build faster than light ships. You can mine planets for antimatter and uh, deuterium and stuff like that. You, know, you can build Star Trek type ships and stuff. You can build plasma thrusters, stuff like that. So I thought, why not do something like that? So I'm starting a brand new career mode tonight. Um, I don't know if we're going to do it every week on Thursday Night Kerbal, but I'm going to start a new career tonight using that tech tree because I think it'll be interesting. So just to change things up a little. So um, let me just do a quick sound check, and then we'll get into uh, get in to see what we have in the vehicle assembly building, which probably isn't very much at all. So. Okay, everything here, everything sounds good. So let's uh, first we'll go into science. See, there's nothing. We got nothing. This is a brand new game. We have nothing researched. We have the basic parts here. Yeah, nothing really. We got a couple things. Now these are now. See these lithium tanks. See these tanks. The, these tanks right here are from the KSP Interstellar mod. They're not. I don't think they're. They're not going to do anything for us right now. But they're in there, so that's fine. But they're not going to do anything for us now. It is. Yeah, exactly, Michael. It's end game stuff. So when you get to the end of your tech tree, there's still more things that cool. It's like an extension of what if. Like if Kerbals keep going, or if you know a space program keeps going, these are things you can develop. So, you know what? Add a little spice to the tech tree. So it gives the game a little different flavor at the end. So, you know what? I figure, why not? All right, so we're just going to have to get somebody up there. So we just got to get a little bit of science so we can unlock the next thing in the tree. So we don't even have decouplers or anything like that. Let's see, water, uh, ammonia water. But these aren't going to do anything for us right now, so... So I'm going to do a little thing to unlock the first thing. Now you're like, oh, I mean, I don't have a decoupler. I can't decouple engines or anything. I can't do anything pretty much, right? Well, I'm going to show you the easiest way to get science in the beginning is just do this. You're like, wait a minute. There's no rockets on that. What are you doing? Oh, now that's something new from the mod. Now, see, that's something new. I don't know what that does. All right, so, you know what we're going to do? Take a crew report. 1.5 science. Can't transmit because there's nothing on there. So, we're going we're gonna to keep that. So, I'm going to go like this. Crew report. Okay, so, there. so we'll keep that data. Uh, wait, where is it? Do it, EVA. 
Get off. And I ought to be out, man. Okay, we're going to take a service sample from the launch pad. Keep that. Do an EV report. I keep that. And I think that's about it. So we're gonna recover vessel. So we should get all that science. Eleven science. Done. So that should be enough to unlock this. Look, now see we have a decoupler, we have better fuel tanks. And we have a mystery goose, so we can actually do some science up there. So we're going to research that. Boom. So now we don't have enough for these. So now we get to send a rocket up. So let's build us a rocket. Okay. So, uh, I need propulsion, but I also need parachute uh, so we're going to get the coupler see now that tells me no good right now so we're not going to worry about that So where's our science? So we're going to grab, so I'm going to grab my flight engineer, and I'm going to grab my mystery goo, I'm going to grab some more mystery goo, actually you know what, I'm going to put, I'm going to put it right there. Put another goo over there. We're gonna we're gonna double goo it. So you know. Right over there. there we go. So we're gonna double goo that. enough to get me in orbit. It should be enough to get me into orbit. But uh be on the safe side. Down there. If not that's okay because we'll still get us good readings. Okay, so let's make sure everything stays okay. Boom, 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 boom. Stay, uh, decouple, and that. All right, so I think we got everything. We don't have any batteries yet. We don't have anything like that yet, so. Uh, yeah, that doesn't really do anything for you right now. Uh, I think that's it. So, we're going to launch this bad boy. Oh, there's some science in that. Oh. oh, I recovered the Kerbal, not the ship. I should. Okay, if I put the Kerbal back in the ship, I would have gotten that too. Oh, yeah, they're always walking around. Yep, they're always there. All right, I don't know if I have enough in here. I might not have enough, actually. What's the de Delta V on this thing? Eh, not bad. All right, so we're going to...
start turning a little. Now we've got to make sure we have enough to deorbit, so I'm going to have to cut this off about. Now. Alright, so 72 should be enough for an orbit, so we're going to. We're going to get this ready for our orbit burn. So we're going to get that ready for our orbit burn, and once we reach 72, I'm going to fire the engine. That should, hopefully, I have enough to get us into orbit. If not, I'm going to take my goose samples real quick and get us home. I think I have enough fuel on there. I don't know. I might be wrong. I'm eyeballing this, too. I'm not really... I probably could be looking at. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm a little off. Okay. See if we have enough. I might not have brought enough fuel. No, I didn't. Okay, so that's all right. Don't worry. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> So we will get our readings now. Uh, I'm gonna keep it. Uh, I'm gonna keep it. We're gonna have Jeb do an EVA. EVA report, we're gonna keep it. Get you back on board. Uh, do a crew report. We're gonna keep that data. All right, so that's about all we can do. So that's a good amount of science. So we're going to uh, review data. Yeah, we're keeping that. Yeah. Okay, so review it. What did we get? We guess we got ten off of that. And keep that. Okay. So we're just going to wait and we're heading back down so we're going to We're going to couple And get ready for re-entry. So that was a successful mission. So that was about 20, 30 science right there. Yeah, you know, it's a little dinky getting science right now just to, you know, just to open up some of our tree. This is not the most exciting missions, but that's okay. So 
So we should be coming in a nice... Yeah. Alright, so our G's are looking decent. Not redlining. Yeah, we're well within G-force tolerance. We're, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. I think we might have a land, uh, land touchdown. Okay, that's good. Perfect. Beautiful, beautiful re-entry. Ah, so pretty soon we'll deploy the chute, and that'll be that. Deploy shoot. There's the rest of our uh, rocket ship going down in the ocean over there. Uh. So about, I guess, 500 feet. About 500 feet she should open up. There we go. Beautiful. Shoot deployment. 7.3 meters a second. A safe splashdown. We'll call the recovery team. Have them come out and get him. And a lot of science in there. That's going to be a good amount of science. Now, we're to be down there. So think of this like Carpenter or Glenn. These these are like the Ge these are like the Gemini missions right here. These are you know we're doing the Gemini missions right now. That's what we're doing. And that's I mean the Mercury missions. Uh, excuse me, pardon me. We're doing the Mercury missions right now. So and Jebediah of course has to be the, has the uh, have to have the honor of being the first. So. <laughs> There we go. A cover vessel. Oh, look at all that science. Look at all that. Look at all that. Done. Good. Awesome. Alright, let's see what we can unlock. We have 37, so we can unlock. Uh, uh, stability, which would give us the decoupler. And we can also radio on struts. Alright, so we can't do this. Okay, so we're going to do this. I'm going to do the radio decoupler. And the winglet. And the... But I'm mainly doing this to get that radio decoupler. So, we'll do that. So now we're starting getting into 45. I don't need really any of this stuff. 50. So we'll head back. Vehicle assembly. Okay. So. We need a little more fuel. On the 
that stage. And we'll take these off. Then we'll take the our new radio decouplers. Put them right there. Put them right there. Uh, got the goo. that and let's see make sure everything's still firing okay oh. down there give me the couple fire this engine couple all right parachute all right we're good now this should reach orbit this should reach orbit so we will uh... alright so we'll get some more science alright now this should make it <sighs> this should make it into orbit I still have enough to uh, de uh, to deorbit. I still have enough fuel left to burn for a deorbit. All right. All right. Let's get that going. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's good enough. Uh, Look at the 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 Look at All right, see, so do we have enough Delta V left? Uh, yes, we do. Yes, we do. So I'll take 1,153, and I got 2,600, so I should have more than enough to deorbit. All right, so I got 30 seconds to move on. Actually, to start burning right now. off on my orbit but that's okay I overburned a little but that's all right I don't really care as long as I have enough in there to deorbit which I do so we are in orbit I could tighten it up but I'm not going to I don't really need to I overshot the mark I don't really care. all right so Major, Let's start getting color. some science. Uh, we're going to keep it. Hmm. Didn't get much out of that. That's disappointing. Um... Let's do an EVA. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're gonna reset. We're gonna review data. Uh, I only got. 0.5 science, so uh, yeah, okay, we're gonna reset it. So we're gonna wait until we get to our. We're gonna wait, yeah, gr exactly, grinding science, exactly. Um, I'm gonna wait until we get to our high Apple apps of 172, and then we'll try that again. Let's see it, uh, how it is once we get out there a little bit. Alright, so let's see if we get any different kind of reading up here. No. No, we're getting the same thing. So it doesn't look like it really matters where we are with the goo. Try one more time when we're way out here. Yeah, nothing. Same thing. Okay, well, that's takes care of that. We'll just. Alright, so we'll keep them. I think I at least got 10 or 15 out of this, which is fine because you know what? That's all I really needed. So let's go around again. So we're going to start deorbiting. All right. 
Yeah, we're going to get the little splash down right there. And we even had some fuel to spare. How's that, huh? Hello, coming up. Oh, got to get rid of this. So now that we don't need the back end anymore, we'll just get rid of that. Thank you very much. You served us well. Now it's time for you to burn it. <laughs> That's time for you to go. Come at a nice shallow angle, that way we don't kill our G's. Did we get a ton of science on that mission? No, we didn't get a ton of science. Did we get enough science to get another thing in the tree? Yes, I think we did. So that's what this is all about right now. I got a goo container and I got and I used it. So there we go. We got a crew report, we got an EVA report, and that's you know. And we got in orbit. So Jebediah is doing all kinds of good stuff. So works for me. Works for me. So, oh, I forgot to tell everybody, you know, anybody it's in, uh, Steam Holiday Sale is up, uh, Kerbal Space Program is on sale, Euro Truck's on sale, everything's on sale, everything's on sale. And plus they're giving out these snow globe cards and, and all kinds of different, all kinds of cool stuff, so. Oh, and the, and the deal right now, a game I highly recommend, was a community choice deal, is FTL, uh, Faster Than Light, I highly recommend that game. Highly, highly recommend it. Let's tip it a little bit. Yeah, but uh, Steam sale is on until January 3rd, I think it is. I can't remember now. All right, we're starting to slow down a little. All right, looking good. Up oh, here comes a re-entry. Still good on the G's though. G's are in the green. G's are in the green. Oh, you don't have the. Oh yeah, yeah. I definitely recommend that. Ah, they don't do a sale on that, do they? Looking good. Reentry is looking good. Getting a little squirrely. Jebediah's got a nice clean reentry going on. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, if you get anything, I mean, if, yeah, if you get, it's much better to get the the official one. There we go. That's a beautiful re-entry. That's a beautiful re-entry. Look at that. I just barely got above the green. Just barely above the green. Ah, yes. Yes, you're right. You're right. 
It's uh, that's all based on the, yeah. That's basically you're just watching the exchange rate. Um, so we're looking good. Our speed's looking good. Everything's looking good. So we're gonna deploy our chute soon. Wait till we get about now. Uh, yeah, I bit the bullet a long time ago about the official one. I just didn't want to run into any problems. You know, I'm not liking playing at servers anymore. Um, only because of the sense of, like, uh, uh, this one server I'm on. Not that anything's, whatever, anything's wrong with servers, I guess. But, um, the one I'm on likes to, like to wipe their maps every once in a while. And I think to myself, you know, I built all this huge buildings and all this big stuff. And, you know, all this grand, grand stuff. You know what I mean? Like Staples Center and all this stuff. And it's all going to be gone with a wipe. You know? That's why I'm doing Minecraft just on my single player, not a server. You know what I mean? Like my own little thing. That way I can build this huge city, you know, build this stuff and don't have to worry about ever getting wiped or, you know, gone away or it's on somebody else's server. You know what I mean? Like I have no control. I don't know if I want to do servers anymore. I don't think I like the idea of doing servers anymore. I think single player, it just seems to me like if I'm in my own world, I don't have to worry about anybody else building near me or crowding me in because that's another thing in a server too. People build right next to you. All right, we have splash now. So we got for science. Oh, I agree with you there. I'm not saying that they're being like, you know, unfair by doing it or or they're not warning you and stuff like that. I just don't like the fact that I've done a bunch of stuff and now it's going to be reset. You know, if it's a, if I'm if I'm doing my own single player thing, I don't have to ever reset if I don't want to. You know, it's up to me. I'm in control of my stuff. And when I'm doing these big huge giant builds, I don't want to be at the mercy of someone else. All right, so let's recover see what we got. Let's see what we got out of that. Hey, 23.7 science earned on this mission. Not bad at all. See, we get 10 just from recovering it from, from orbit. So crew report, EVA are the main ones, but that's good. That's real good. All right, so we've got 42 science to play with. <laughs> I'm not going to unlock this because I really don't. I, I don't need mech jeb right now. Uh, I don't need any of this stuff. I don't need landing stress. I do want these solid rocket boosters, though. I do want those boosters. Um. One of these, and I can't remember which one, leads to another science container. We're going to go with this one. So we got 42, so we can go 20. Oh, I and like I said, don't don't get me wrong. It's nothing against servers. I know nothing against servers. But I'm just starting to think like the server I'm on is going to reset soon, I think. Or maybe he's going to, they're thinking about wiping it and whatever like that. And then I have people who like to build right next to me and stuff. And I have to say, please don't build next to me. I'm going to build something big. Can you please move? Da, 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 da. You know, if I'm just doing all this in single player, I can do whatever I want. Don't have to worry about anybody else. I you, you do lose some of that sense of community, which is kind of a, you know I get, but I don't know. 
All right, so anyways, what am I doing here? So 20 science here and 15 science here. Mm -hmm. I see. I don't need these parts. I'm not going to the moon right now or nothing. I don't. I don't need those parts really. See, I could use those, but then I can't get any of these. All right, we'll unlock these just for the heck of it. We'll unlock this. We'll unlock this. So see what else we opened up. Ah, aha, uh -huh, we want those. Yeah, we want Battery Science Junior. Yeah, and a, and a transmitter. But we want this. We want the science tech. That's, we really want that. Yeah, it is hard getting a good group in a server. You are so right about that. And even when you think you've got a good group in a server, um, uh, they, you know, people inviting other people in and this and that, and it turns into a hole. Yeah. I'm kind of burned out in the whole server thing. So we want these two. We want this. We want the bigger engine, the fuel tank, and we want the science. So what do we need? We need 90 science. I've got an idea, though. I've got an idea. So what did we unlock just now? The SRBs. See, there's not much more we can do up in space. We've got seven science. See, there's not much more I can do. Exactly. I'm just going to be launching the same missions and recovering them because there's not much else I can do. Until I get this. <laughs> Jebediah Kerman's Junkyard and Spaceship Parts Company. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Did we get lander legs? I think we did, didn't we? Yeah, they don't do us any good, though. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, let's go back to the vehicle assembly building. See, we know this thing gets up into orbit. There's really not much I have to do. I really don't have to put any of those parts on it. I mean, it, we know it get we know it gets to orbit. I mean, it performs beautifully. I mean, I may as well just launch it again. All right, so we'll just do another launch. See if we can get out of this for science. Maybe if I let me try something. I don't think that's gonna I don't think that's gonna fool it into giving me different science. I think it's I think it's like okay you already I think it's kind of like saying you know what you've already done this science don't try and fool us we already know you've done it uh. all right let's launch this again see what we can get out of it I could slap those new boosters on it, but I think that might be overkill. I don't think you really need to.
I have an idea. It's a crazy idea, but I have an idea. See those mountains over there? I don't know if we're going to go up anymore. We are going to go up anymore. We are going to go up anymore. But I got... I'm going to try something different. I'm going to try something freaky. We're going to go for some biomes. We're going to go for some biomes. And this puts us in a polar orbit. I think I have a plan. I think it's a pretty good plan. I don't know yet, though. <laughs> yes, I'm in a polar... Oh, my God. This is perfect. This is, this is perfect. Alright, once we hit 80... Cut off the oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. So... Oh, dude, too much, too much. Okay. Who boy. Okay. All right. Uh, need to burn. Need to burn. Perry app, Apple app. Nope. Oh, too much. Too much. Too much. Too little. Just right. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Whoa. whoa. Yeah, 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 that works. Yeah. Okay, so, we're getting close. Okay. Alright. Uh, T minus one minute. Actually, you know, we'll just burn now. Or I'll wait. Crash it. Like, there's no science in crashing it. If I <laughs> there was science, I would crash it. Yeah, I can burn now. Not in orbit. That's in orbit. <clears throat> That's in orbit. Okay, so now we should be in a polar orbit. Yeah, pretty much. So I have a plan. We're going to land on the polar ice cap and we're going to get a surface sample. So we're going to get our EVA report. Uh, 
So oh yeah, keep that. that. Oh, yeah. Uh, there is some sound. Get right. back in. Oh. Oh, nothing. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. uh... So I gotta start burning. I gotta flip this battery around. Okay. Uh, we're gonna burn. Come on. Come on. Right near some mountains. I am right. Right there. Perfect. All right, so we're going to go get some polar observations. All right, so we're going to get some polar observations. Ha <laughs> ha ha. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, beautiful. <laughs> Good thing I brought my paka. That worked out better than I thought. We're gonna go snow. We're gonna go sledding, bobsledding. Right, that, worked, that worked out way, way better than I thought. I mean, I, I pretty much nailed the polar orbit. That was awesome. Look at that. Perfect. Alright. Alright, so let's flip her over. So I can get rid of the tank. Which is no longer of any use to me. Oh, that's awesome. Look at all that. That's so, that's great. Yeah, basically, yeah. I mean, they they live on a planet, you know, Kerman. Um, and they're Kerbals. It's like us, basically. It's like, you know what I mean? It's like, and, and you know, you have Duna, which is Mars, and, you know, the Moon, which is Moon. Uh, they have Minimus, Minbus, or whatever it's called. I forget what it's... <laughs> that is like... We don't have that moon, but it's basically just an analogy, like they have their space program, you know, and yep, Kerbals. Oh, 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 oh. All right. This is going to be awesome. So we're going to get some polar science. Oh, it's going to be great, 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 great. Oh, this is awesome. It's going to be so nice. Alrighty. So far, we're in green. No, we're not in green anymore. Alright, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. 
Whew, there we go. I don't want to get him in the red. <clears throat> All right. Look at that. Oh, boy. Science jackpot. Science jackpot. So, I could have hit those mountains if I really wanted to, but this is good enough. And shoot is deployed. Oh, that's beautiful up here, ain't it? That's beautiful. Look at all that. We're a long way from warp drive right now, I'll tell you. <laughs> We're a long, long way from warp drive. Oh well. I think there's a crashed alien ship up here somewhere. I forget where, but. There we go. All right. Let's get off the command bod. Let's get off the. Take surface sample. Nine science. Take it. Uh, all right. Okay. <laughs> I station zero. Oh. oh no, I got a better one. Freezing for science. Okay. Let's get on board. All right. Uh, yeah, fairly small studio. I mean, kind of like the same studio that developed Euro Truck. That kind of size studio. Okay, so we're going to cover our vessel. Twenty one science, not bad. Yay. Not bad. Oh, I didn't get a, a thing for orbit. Oh, yeah, recovery of vessel. Oh, it didn't give me much, though. All right, that's all right, done. Now, we don't have enough for Science Junior yet. Or... No, we got 29. 
So I'm getting diminishing returns on some of those other things. Oh, um, it's like a small studio, not Mike, you know, not really small, uh, a decent size. This is the this is their only game, you know. This is their focus. This game, um, kind of like Euro Truck Studio, is a focus of that. You know what I mean? They don't have two or three other games in the hopper. This is this is their game. This is what they're working on. But the game is really caught on, so I don't have anything in here yet, do I? I have I have nothing in my space plane hangar. Yeah, it's yeah, it's all the same stuff. Yeah. Yep. Get out of here. So I have to come up with new and interesting things to try and get science. I think there are different signs, like on the building and all this stuff. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to think what I haven't done for science. Hmm. How much more do I need for science? Oh yeah, there's a they're developing multiplayer for it. I mean it's it's constantly being updated. I mean this is patch point two three I'm playing right now. This tech tree is new. You know, this tech tree is not that old. Um before it was just sandbox mode. I need forty five, so I need sixteen more science. And I've pretty much milked my missions. Uh, I'm stumped. All right. What time is it? All right. You know what? We're going to call it a night for the Thursday Night Carpool tonight. I think we've done quite a bit of science tonight. I've unlocked quite a few bits of the tree. So then next week, we'll continue working. I'm going to think, try and think of ideas for some, some different missions that will unlock science. Something, something different. I'm thinking I'm going to have to go over. Ha, I'm thinking I'm going to have to go after different biomes. Because uh, that solar sample, uh, so, so the polar sample was pretty decent. So maybe I'll see if I can find, I'll have to figure out a way to land in some mountains. Maybe go go through the space center, do some samples and stuff. We've got to unlock that science junior. Well, there is already a multi-game um, mod out, but it's not official. There is a ton of mods for this game. A lot of the stuff you see me doing, like the tech tree um, uh, modifications, the chatter thing you hear. Uh, flight engineer, all that stuff. That's all modded. That's not part of the game. That's things people have done to put in the game. So, there's a very active modding community. And they encourage mods. They encourage you to put mods in the game. So, yeah. Yeah, it, it's an awesome game. Yeah, I, I, I've i sunk, I've probably sunk about 150 to 200 hours into this game. Yeah, so, uh. Yeah, I've sunk a lot of time in this game. Because I think you've seen my career mode, my sandbox mode. I have missions of Duna going on, and I have space stations, and I have, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. So, All right, well, that's it for the Thursday Night Kerbal. Um, I might get on in a little while and do some Minecraft. I don't really know right now. Um, I'm not really sure. But, I might. So, <laughs> if you see me in about a half hour or so, that's, I'm doing Minecraft for a little bit. Alright, so I want to thank you for watching Thursday Night Kerbal for tonight. Uh, starting a new career, and at the end of this career somewhere, we're going to have faster than light drives and fusion drives and plasma engines. But that's a long way off, so we got a lot of, a lot of stuff to do between now and then. So... All right, I want to thank you for watching tonight. Um, I appreciate it. Um, as always, you guys are awesome. So I will see you for the next Thursday Night Curveball next week. All right, take care.